<laughs> we have rain finally. In two weeks, two months. Today we have our own rainbow. Look. Rainbow. We have a double rainbow. <laughs> wow! What does it mean? What does it what? mean? What? What does it mean? We are now in City Hardware. We're gonna pick up some extra tanks, another 2,000 liter. And then we're buying 70 boxes of tiles here, but that's so heavy that we have to order a truck to pick all of this up. Can't be bringing that on the Blue Thunder, unfortunately. Now we are in Trya, very nice store, lots of things to find here. Maybe we can find the primers and the flexi, plexi, dexi things. What are those? Hey, you forget. There's more than that. What did you buy, Finn? Slurry, continuous flexi. For waterproofing, eh? But all of it in the store, there's nothing on left. Now in uh, City Hardware we actually bought another 2000 liter one, uh, but it's quite taller, which is going to give us a uh, better space here. And the plumber actually made one extra hole. The reason is because it was in the other side. Yeah, but he didn't close it, so... <laughs> We just bought a unit as well in safety hardware and uh, gotta close that up. Gotta put my monkey skills to the test. Ah, oh, it's full. That's okay. good. Hi, Budak! Yes, are here. Yep. So, these are the ones for the view deck upstairs on the second floor. We, we went to the city yesterday, uh, so you saw, but they uh, shipped it today. And we also bought another 2000 liter tank. Let me show you that. Ta da! 2,000 liter tank. Looks alright. Always check these before you buy guys. Always good, good to check. How's the chickens brand? <laughs> How many we got? It's a board, uh, last 12. Then why 12 is born? How many? 10 pieces thick. Oh. 10 pieces. 10 pieces. It's good for the kite. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the kite, the kite loves the jiggers, that's for sure. <laughs> so we uh, rescued them from the road just nearby. We would urine them, of course. So he's a Scandinavian? Yeah. Awesome. She's a funny looking good because you know what? Look white and then the tail up. Oh, Hi, sorry. You see, so yeah. <laughs> Anti slip. So on the ground floor, we have two sets of tiles. We want to keep it as uh, simple as most as possible. 
and uh, the ivory creamy is the majority of it the ground floor and uh, also the balcony or the porch area then these ones that are gonna be exposed to the Sun quite a bit they're gonna be uh, obviously upstairs on the uh, view deck and <laughs> that's all I see here. and on the view deck you gotta have tiles that are gonna be track uh, retracting and uh, expanding quite a bit because with the Sun they uh, expand and then they contract and that can create cracks so ceramic is apparently the best one we got so ceramic anti-slip that's gonna be on the top and it's not too dark so when you step on it you're not gonna be burning your feet So the ivory creamy tiling is uh, pretty much done or across the house and uh, very nice job you just have to fill up into the crack I think me and Shirley will do that as you can see all done here but this one changes when you get into the bathroom you get the slightly grayish and then we're gonna make sort of a wooden tiles nice contrasty look there in the bathroom kind of funky video. let's see so the main reason why we haven't done the porch area yet is that we want to do the uh, swimming pool stealing and cementing first because when we do that there's going to be a lot of cement mud dirty stuff around here and we don't want to damage any of the tiles if that was already in place but we will do the pool first and then once the ma major part of that is done, uh, the cement work, then we can do the tiling here. We got some comments about <laughs> they thought the hollow blocks was the wall of the <laughs> swimming pool, guys. <laughs> the hollow block is not for the pool. <laughs> there will be a very thick structure going in here. This is just behind it, so there will be a massive steel structure along everywhere a new whole new frame and uh, salmon pouring in one go so what you see here is this is not the pool it will be done properly of course so the tiling is done here and even if we go into the uh, pantry room let me show you so you got the whole living kitchen area then you go in here this is the pantry room. Now we got tiles over here. Chips and board in the ceiling, all done. Cable is ready to go. That's for the big air conditioning in the living room. I think it's gonna be one and a half or two horsepower uh, aircon in there. All the piping still needs to be closed up, uh, made a little bit messier. This is gonna be our uh, electric panel board. And then our laundry room is done as well, I think. For tiling yep laundry room tiling done and I'm still not sure about what I'm gonna do about the uh, parking lot here because it has to be something that can take on maybe some scratches because when you drive the car here sometimes small rocks get stuck in between the tire and when you brake going into a parking area like this it will definitely create some scratches so maybe you guys know some ideas for me what we should do about this spot with that in mind. So that is the uh, slur that we're going to be putting as a uh, first layer on top of the open uh, cement that we have here on the roof deck. And this is the water sealant, a uh, very expensive one, and it's not really necessary, but thinking about long term. If there's any leak in the future, this can prevent it. And, uh, so, what we have to do now is, what we have to do now, they've prepared all of this area now, now it's flat and nice and uh, before we apply this you have to dry everything make sure there's no dust 
second thing we apply also water but just so it's soaked and uh, moist but not any puddles and once that's done we're gonna start with the edges cover all the edges here around well, when you're around here in Philippines there's not many houses with flat roofs usually uh, some curve so the water goes off but here you're prone to the risk of water collection and that's usually where you might have some leaks in the future so we're gonna do an extra fine investment into uh, making sure that this roof is waterproofed for decades and decades to come step one you need to get a little bit uh, the concrete but not super wet it's just dumb now obviously there's many ways to waterproof a housing but this seems to be the material we want to use here for ours other ways is a lot of I remember back home when we did it with our houses we put uh, thick rubber layer material first and that's our main waterproofing there and then of course uh, steel roof deck on top of that of I should add one more thing and uh, slightly educational and that is cement that is exposed to the sun actually expands and retracts when it's cold so daytime when it's really hot here in the Philippines cement actually expands so that's the main reason uh, well a lot of reason why people get cracks in it so if you don't cover it it is exposed to that and this material is flexible so if this is the first layer and it gets a lot of heat it actually expands and then retracts without doing any cracks so it's flexible cementinous that's another reason with the uh, wall this is just a skin coat finish over here but this is a paint finish that is also flexible that is of course for the aesthetics of the houses but it's also for protection of the cement Worker. Yeah. yeah. Extra worker. So we started to, uh, the guys started to work on the pool and we got these uh, lines that are gonna replicate the uh, shape of the pool. So in the center there where they're doing a uh, crossing, that's the, that's the uh, deepest part. And then here it's quite shallow, so it goes down. <coughs> A little bit up on the end, or maybe flat, we're not sure yet. So this a uh, little bit of uh, clay is, we're gonna water that, and then we have a compressor machine, and we're gonna do that repeatedly for a couple of days before we put the proper soil. Let me show you. This is the main soil that's going in the swimming pool. All that soil, it's basically rocks. And that's uh, very important to keep it very hard. You don't wanna make any We don't want to make any cracks in the pool, so that's going to be the base of the pool area. Very strong. <laughs> One more truck to come. Oh, and uh, the plumber is here, so let's go up and show you the new tank we just bought. I think it's going to connect it also to a watering system. All right, the uh, another second 2,000 liter tank is up, and the plumber also. This new pipe here that we're gonna connect the water hose into. So that one is pressurized. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because the uh, source from the water in the mountain is sometimes not strong enough to uh, use some watering mechanism like our spinner. So we want enough pressure so the spinner can be watering in a large area. Quick weather report. This is how it's been for the last. 10 days or so and it's going to continue for at least two weeks if you look at the forecast there's about 25 to 30 knots of wind on the pacific side and uh, no rain with that it's just the monsoon winds without any rain crazy oh is that the native chicken or no. just a very small one 
had the same sauce earlier. Mm -hmm. Papaya from the land. Mm. Try a chicken. Lion butt, chicken in Philippines. <laughs> what, 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 what do you say? I mean, the position of the chicken <laughs> is like Bustaf, no, uh, Simba. Yeah, Simba. Simba, except we got chicken in Philippines. <laughs> Simba. How to zoom in? I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Gary for giving us the Kamogung, aka the Century Tree. And you guys only have to be subscribed to me for about 100 years to see this grow. I don't ask for much, only 100 years. Let's see how it grows. So this tree actually has really nice color to it. It has a black and white almost stripes in it. Very unique. But, you know, it grows extremely slow. <laughs> so true. So dry. But we're getting through it. Good exercise in the morning. One hundred years. <laughs> you know the SpongeBob. Two years later, two hours later, we got one hundred years later for this one. Whoa! And coconut. Now we have a pressure water. Yeah, pressurized watering for the garden area. Yes. So much better. The morning after, first layer here, it uh, oh, looks pretty good to me, happy with that. And then uh, hopefully we're able to cover this whole area today. And then later when June arrives, he would bring also another material we're gonna put on top of this one. Just for extra, extra protection. Now we're also bringing the water hose from the garden ink because we want to water this uh, about this thick layer of uh, mud or clay soil that we used here. We want to compress that, water it, compress it, water it, compress it a few times before we do. There we go. Before we do uh, the cement ink, and here you can see the big boulder rocks. This is like the uh, top quality, not quality, uh, the hardest material we can get to be under the pool because we don't want any cracks in the future of course. How's the compressor? Still working? Yeah. <laughs> Just the bolt? Few bolts, okay. Hi. Then once it's all wet, we bring the compressor. And now the door to the solar panel room and the batteries is finished. Let's feel the temperature in here. Oh, it's all right. But now that we have the door, we want to start operating the aircraft. And it's a very simple system. You can basically, I usually put it to 25 or 27, 25. 
And then we just put on a timer. So we go to timer off and select the time. And then about uh, 5 p.m. it will turn off and then we set the timer to go on about 8 o'clock in the morning. And this is once again the best way for long lasting batteries is to have a natural temperature condition such as uh, around 24, 25 degrees Celsius and of course to avoid humidity. With the aircon it will dry out the air over here. So we keep it on a dry setting, dry it here and a proper room temperature. I mean, it's just amazing this uh, battery system and solar. It's 8.34 a.m. and it already charged to 100% from 71% uh, when I woke up uh, 5 o'clock this morning. So the whole night, I wake up with 71%. That's fantastic. I think that's it from the video. It's been a couple of days here. Obviously very busy with the boat, uh, doing all these permits. It's the beginning of the year, that's how it is. Uh, yeah, and we will continue with the update about the waterproofing, but this is how we're gonna do it. And uh, we'll show you the final results probably in the next video. Until next time, peace out.